Michael here again with another Michael's Guitar Reviews. This time we have a big cat. This is a Jaguar, Squire Jaguar, part of the classic Vibe series. Nice enclosed tuners at the back there with little holes that you can put some oil in if you want to keep them nicely lubricated. In keeping with the classic Vibe series there is a fairly glossy neck, quite glossy. Some people like that, some people prefer a more satinized finish, but it's all personal choice. Laurel fingerboard, apparently a bone nut. Also, these are mother of pearl type block inlays. This is the 70s version. Okay, the earlier one has the dot inlays. This is a nice one, I like this one. The body <clears throat> is said to be an offset shape. So in other words, it's like somebody's created a rectangle, given it a push at this end and it's tipped forward slightly, but it's very nice. The back is flat and unremarkable. It's contoured, which is really nice. It's very comfortable. And it has two Alnico pickups, single coil pickups. These are operated from two separate circuits. The top one here is said to be the rhythm circuit and the bottom one a series of independent options which we'll go through. Let's start at the back first of all. This is the tremolo or whammy bar, whammy bar setup and it's adjustable. So in other words, well it's adjustable in several ways. You can actually take the, that, the lever out or push it back in and if you push it a little bit further so it clicks it stops it from wobbling about however you can also adjust the travel of the tremolo or whammy bar so if you want it to be fairly rigid you just tighten this screw here and it will stop it from moving anti-clockwise and loosen it and you'll get travel of the bar clever then we get to the bridge. However, this can be a little bit problematic in one particular respect. If you look at the strings, they're almost flat, almost level, as they pass over the top of the bridge saddles. Ordinarily, what you would have is the strings going all the way down till they get to the bridge saddle. And when they get there, they go down like that and disappear in a hole behind the saddle. That's called a break angle and it helps to keep the strings stable. This one is like that. In other words, if it's sitting on top of the string saddles and there's a little notch for them to sit in, when you start to put any sort of vigour into playing, what's going to happen is that it's going to tip out of the notch and it does do that sometimes, which is a bit annoying, but they've been around a long time and people love them. Now the bridge is called a floating bridge and it can actually, you want to see it on there, but it can actually be adjusted by using a very fine screwdriver or a very fine Allen key or a very fine Torx type screwdriver. I haven't worked out which it is yet, but I did use a Torx type one pop down into these little holes, one at either side. And if you tighten them down a little bit, the bridge will come up. So that'll raise the action for you. And of course you have independent string saddles here, and these can be adjusted individually by a little screw at the back. If you want to move them backwards or forwards for intonation. So interesting, interesting. Now these two pickups and the way that they're adjusted. The top of these blingy chrome plates contains a switch which goes that way or that way and two little wheels which are hidden down inside behind this plate. The first one is the volumes and you just move the wheel backwards or forwards according to whether you want to increase it, the volume, or decrease it. The one behind is the tone, tone wheel and that goes this way to make it more treble sounding and backwards 
to make it more bassy. So you need to engage this switch upwards in order to select that rhythm feature. If you press downwards, it disengages and that allows you to use the next set of settings. And here we are. Three little slide switches. The first one corresponds to the neck pickup. The second corresponds to the bridge pickup. And the third one is called a strangler switch. Now, what that actually does in practice is it alters the sound slightly. Okay. Down here, we have the volume rotary control and the tone rotary control. And of course, the jack socket input. These are standard clockwise to increase the volume and with the lower one, the tone one, clockwise to increase the treble and vice versa. So a nice, interesting, comfortable guitar. Let's see what it sounds like. We'll run it through its paces, starting first of all with the rhythm facility at the top. And I'll have the setting on the tone wheel back to the more bassy sound. And we'll, we'll move it back to the treble one as well in a moment. First of all, the more bassy sound on the on the uh, the rhythm section. And now for the treble side. Moving all the way up to the treble sound. disengage the the um, rhythm side and we're now operating on the lower selectors which can operate each pickup individually or blend the two together depending on what your preferences are so to begin with we'll see what the neck pickup sounds like with the tone control turned round to the bassier side or anti-clockwise Okay, so this is the neck pickup sounding a bit more bassy. And now we're the same pickup but turned round to the treble side. Okay, moving on, we'll now disengage the neck pickup, engage the bridge pickup, and turn the tone down to the bassy side. some treble. Big difference. And now both pickups together. And this time, again, with the more bassy sound on the tone control. Now 
Now, same two pickups, but this time with the treble on full. <laughs> switch. Let's have the tone setting midway and we'll try a few chords with the strangle switch in one position and the other position. See what you think. The Squire Classic Vibe 70s Jaguar, available in, at the moment, three colours as far as I'm aware, black, a sort of surfy green which is very nice, and sunburst. This one has a lovely perloid scratch plate which I really like and I think it sets the, the black off very well. The kind of guitar I can imagine you playing in a, in a posh club. A kind of a show band type thing, suits, dicky bow, all very smooth, expensive bottles of wine, nice food, and the atmosphere is cool. And so are you when you play one of these babies. Squire Classic Vibe, 70s, Jaguar. Michael's Guitar Reviews. Please subscribe. Please, let's have some positive comments and some positive feedback. Come back again. There are loads of these videos that I'm doing now and I really hope you enjoy them. I really do, because I love doing them. So for the time being, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye for now.